Good afternoon, my name is Sam and welcome back to Chasing Dinner. Today we have in the kitchen Danielle, hello. And we're going to make for you a twist on the traditional Korean barbecue. We're going to do a fusion style. It's going to be Korean barbecue tacos. Mm. Stay with us. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate the meat. And today we are using thinly sliced ribeye. Of course, you can use any kind of meat you want. Um, but I prefer the ribeye because it tastier. Okay, so we are just starting the preparations for the marinade for the meat. We have onions, ginger, a half an onion, what would you say? About equal amounts of ginger and garlic. Ginger and garlic, it's about eight cloves of garlic, four heaping tablespoons of brown sugar, a cup of soy sauce, toasted sesame seeds, how much would you say? Two tablespoons two tablespoons and this is a teaspoon of black pepper black pepper and sesame oil okay now all that goes inside the food processor okay this is a so everything goes in at the same time okay and this is going to be the marinade Sesame oil and the soy sauce. Yeah, that might be good. <laughs> yep, that's all you need. Okay, you want to show them what it looks like? Yes. All right. Now we're going to pour this marinade over the meat. That looks so good. All right, mix it in there. With my hands? Go for it. <laughs> And normally we let this marinate overnight, but we're just going to marinate it for about 30 minutes. We forgot to add the Asian pear. And what that does is it helps to tenderize the meat, but also gives it a nice flavor. Now, if you don't have Asian pear, you can use regular pear, I suppose. Uh, you can use kiwi. And it won't be as good, though. Also, um, you can use pineapple, but it's, it's not going to be the same. Asian pear is the best way to go. You don't have to use it, but it's, it, it does help a lot with the taste. Oh, all our vegetables are already washed, so I'm going to start dicing the tomatoes and chopping all the other vegetables. Bam, done. Now we're slicing up the carrots. Okay. I'm not a chef, so if I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, it's gonna go in a taco wrap, so we try not to break the shell by having hard pieces. So. Okay. Maybe chop it once that way because it's kind of long. Mm -hmm. That works for me. There we 
we've got uh, tomatoes, some carrots, green onion, some lettuce, and cucumbers all chopped up. Time to throw the meat on the grill. This smells so good. Okay, so we are cooking this medium to medium well so that the marinade caramelizes a little bit. Meat is done, so now we're going to remove everything. Mm, looks good. All right, we're gonna use the leftover marinade to make a sauce. Okay, we'll, so we'll bring that up to a boil. We're gonna add a spoon of kochujang. It's a Korean hot pepper paste. Oh, we're doing that now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger. Yes. Okay, a lot of stuff. Okay, here okay. we go. Mix it in there good. <laughs> and we'll let that redo. Okay, we're going to slice mm -hmm. up the meat real thin. meat and the sauce. Okay, we are using flour tortillas and we're going to start by putting our tortilla on the plate, adding our sauce just down the middle, and then a layer of lettuce, some tomatoes, carrots, green onions, cucumbers, and the meats. Should I put more meat in that? Sure. Load it up. Okay. And then we're going to wrap it like, what did you call it? A wrap? Yeah, like a cone. Kind of like a cone. Or you can just eat it like that. Yeah. There you go. The Asian, wait, how, what is Korean it called? Korean barbecue taco. Korean barbecue taco. And look at that juice yeah. dripping out. Yeah, bite it. Let me see. What do you uh. think? Mmm. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm -hmm. 